Students, in this class, we will learn how to integrate integral negative 1 to 1 e raised to the power negative lambda x times 1 negative x squared times dx. Now, to do this question, we would be using the Liet rule. Clearly, algebraic function comes before the exponential function. So, therefore, we take the value of u to be as 1 negative x squared and v to be as e raised to the power negative lambda x. We differentiate u, so differential of 1 negative x squared would give us negative 2 times x, and we integrate v, so v1 is going to be e raised to the power negative lambda x. The coefficient of x is negative lambda, so you need to place negative lambda in the denominator. Now, u2 is differential of negative 2x, which is negative 2. Now, v2 is integrating e power minus lambda, would give us e power minus lambda times x divided by, there is already a negative lambda, so this would become positive lambda squared. Now, having obtained this, we would now have to use the Bernoulli's formula. Okay, so you can write the statement from Bernoulli's formula, we get. So, what exactly is the Bernoulli's formula? You can, in fact, rewrite the formula. We know that integral uv dx is equal to uv1 negative u1 v2 positive u2 v3 and negative u3 v4 and so on. This is the Bernoulli's formula. So, using the Bernoulli's formula, integral negative 1 to 1 e raised to the power negative lambda x times 1 negative x squared times dx can now be rewritten as, in the place of u, you got 1 negative x squared. In the place of v1, you have got e raised to the power negative lambda x divided by negative lambda, followed by a negative sign. In the place of u1, you got negative 2x. v2 is e raised to the power negative lambda x divided by lambda squared. Now, followed by positive sign, and you have, we have got u2. So, it's going to be u2 is going to be negative 2. Now, we need to have a v3. I have just obtained v2. So, let us now obtain v3. So, v3 is, v3 is going to be equal to integrating e power negative lambda x will give us e raised to the power negative lambda x divided by, there is already a lambda squared there. So, this is going to be lambda cubed with a negative sign. So, I would be using this value, v3 value over here. So, that's going to be negative 2 times negative e power negative lambda x divided by lambda cubed and the entire limit is raised between negative 1 to positive 1. Now applying limits we get, let us write that statement, applying limits we get, so we apply the upper limit so that's going to be 1 negative 1, right? squared, in fact, I need to place square over here, times e raised to the power negative lambda of 1 divided by negative lambda. But we know that 1 negative 1 squared, this is going to be 0. So, that gets cancelled, followed by negative, applying the lower limit, 1 negative of negative 1 squared times e raised to the power negative lambda times negative 1 divided by negative lambda. Now, clearly 1 negative of negative 1 squared, that will be positive. So, this will be eliminated, followed by the next quantity, negative times negative will be positive 2 times, I apply the upper limit, that's going to be 1 times e power negative lambda of 1 divided by lambda squared, followed by negative 2 of negative 1 times e raised to the power negative lambda of negative 1 
divided by lambda squared. So this is this is for the second limit. Okay. So finally for this quantity applying limits positive times negative will become negative. So negative 2 can be taken out. I apply the upper limit. In fact it's there is also a negative sign. I didn't notice that. So it's going to become positive. So applying the limits is going to be e raised to the power negative lambda of 1 divided by lambda cubed negative it's going to be 2 times of e raised to the power negative lambda of negative 1 divided by lambda cubed. Okay, so now we need to simplify this. So this is going to be equal to 2 divided by lambda squared of e power negative lambda followed by negative times negative is positive 2 divided by lambda squared. Now negative times negative will become positive so it's going to be e power lambda followed by positive 2 times e power negative lambda divided by lambda cubed and you got negative 2 times e power lambda divided by lambda cubed. So now you got 2 as a common quantity, common factor, it can be taken out. So when we do that, we got 2 times, I can take lambda squared out. So that would give me e power negative lambda, positive e power positive lambda, that's one quantity. And then for the other quantity, if I were to take 2 over lambda cubed, I would have e power negative lambda and followed by negative e power lambda. So this is what I'm getting. Now you can either stop this solution here or if you want, you can take you can take a negative sign out and rewrite it, but it's, it's not going to serve any purpose.